My name is Jeremy Salterbeck. I'm directing and writing this short piece for the record Lovage, which is Dan the Automator, Mike Patton, and Jennifer Charles. Patton, he, he is like, it's like, you know, you ever seen, you know, like Batman, they have the bat signal, or, or you know, like something like that? It's like, you know, love was calling. We got this together, you know, it was just like, yeah, you have a nice looking salsa that you might want to try experimenting with on the. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, yeah, you know, so, like, you know, it's, it's the call of the, it's call of the love, you know, it's like, I was telling them, you know, how like Barry White used to be there, and Boston Petty for Italy, James Last, or like, you know, Sarah Gainsbourg. But like when it comes to like American love, you know, it's in like Tom Jones, Barry White, Frank Sinatra. They're all great, but they're all also from the seventies or earlier. And we just thought like it was time to bust something out that would hit hit for the year two thousand something. I mean, we've tried, you know, you, you get the candlelight going, you get the fireplace roaring, nice bottle of wine, and you pop on the limp biscuit record. And it just does not work. I came up with this this idea of having a book. Um, Detailing the, you know, the Nathaniel Merriweather ways of of getting the chicks, um, so that the book could reappear in different places and could kind of travel through different stories. Can the book get you laid? Absolutely. That's the whole point. I mean, that's its purpose. That's its job. So the character in this story is pretty interesting. He's kind of looking for love, and he likes the girl at the bookstore, but he doesn't know quite how to go about it, so he thinks this book is the, the answer to all of his problems. So he takes it home and, and studies it all, and it's full of all kinds of different information. So when he finds the record, um, he uh, plays it, and it takes him on sort of a, an inner journey where he goes through uh, all sorts of experiences that he's never had before. So that's the basis. When a, when a man needs a woman's love so much, <laughs> in a beautiful love story, not all love is beautiful. A bookstore lady appears in camouflage corset and walks across the room. She appears half furnitureistic, half dominatrix, half futuristic. Russell looks down and suddenly realizes he is wearing only underwear. He slowly enters the room. I have a pair of that. I figured you did. And is this girl going to be Jennifer? <laughs> All right, killer. So that's a good thing. You get to rub her feet, she stands on your I head. I like her feet? Yeah. Oh, bitchin', dude. Are you joking? No. Russell looks down it. and suddenly realizes he's wearing only camouflage underwear. He slowly enters the room and walks toward her. They embrace. The remainder of the sequence is intercut with performances of the song, Book of the Month. Captain Sparky performs from a chair in his study. The bookstore lady performs while lounging on the poster bed in the 2001 bedroom scene. There are also shorts, shots of Russell and Bookstore Lady in various states of disarray. Bookstore Lady steps on Russell's head. He lies naked on a futuristic floor, apparently shell-shocked or catatonic. I'm gonna really be naked? No. You can if you want to, but I don't need, I only need like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not posing naked, it's definitely not my thing. Okay, Russell sits on the couch with his book in his lap. He takes a bite of the banana he stole. He carefully opens the buckle and cracks the cover open. Buckle of what? Uh, there's a buckle in the book. Okay, oh, the buckle in the, the book. The buckle. Okay, so cover up in the title page reads Lovage, the book of love. The vinyl says Lovage, like the book cover. Russell draws the shades, he adjusts the lighting, he mixes a drink on the counter where a bottle of Stolichnaya and a can of strawberry quick sit. That's a great drink. There are various oddities scattered throughout the room. Russell's collected curio, the wizard statuette, a shelf of books with, uh, with odd titles, a Hooters record. Who's Hooters? You know, Hooters danced all night. Mm -hmm. It's the 80s. Oh, yeah. With the, like, saxophone, xylophone thing in it or something? Mm -hmm. you got to find a record player, you know, anybody with a record player but not you know I have an old-fashioned one you do can yes. you use it yes Does it turn on yes Perfect. 
spinning vinyl record player, we hear the scratches of the old record. The book, the song Book of the Month begins, and the vinyl seems to twist and distort before my eyes. Okay. Totally bitching. I'll totally Robert Redford it all the way. Your only lines are on the first page. Oh, so I'm going to be like a chess player just all. 